Hello everybody, welcome to a post-Windows update world. My name's Lil for meeting the crew today. Last time we played as accurate, it went really, really well. Like, super, super well. Can't... No complaints. Zero complaints. Uh, today, now no one's left any requests, so I get to choose. We haven't done multi. We haven't done mercenary. We haven't done Rex, and we haven't done the captain. Now, um, I would like to practice with several of these before we really got started. So I am going to start off with the captain. And I'm going to start off with the captain for a couple of reasons. Mainly because captain's just really, really, really good. I like him a bunch. He's, I find him very powerful. Uh, and especially with the hacking beacons. You start off with these two, the healing and the stun. And both of them are excellent. You can swap around. You can have double healing. You can have double stun. You have one of each. Um, but getting the hacking one isn't difficult. And I do find it's a lot of fun. Now... Um, Captain's an interesting character. He has no mobility, but a high amount of damage output, uh, and one of the oddly strongest pieces of crowd control in the game, uh, if you use it properly. And you'd think that, like, one piece of crowd control, uh, doesn't matter, but you'd be surprised how often it's like, oh, that one elite needs to shut up, and your ability to do that is second to none with this character. So, uh, keeping that in mind at all times, that you have access to the taser is a pretty important thing to do. Let's see if we can get lucky with a good run here. Now... Uh, the double hacking does not really matter as much as I used to think it did. And the reason why is because you can farm up as much money as you want and get all the items that you want, and it's all groovy. Now, what I recommend... Uh, what I recommend still going for double hacking? There's benefits. i tell you that right now, folks. There's benefits to going double hacking. Thank you. Uh, the main one is if you see a situation like this where there's like a shrine off in the distance. Like, oh look, what a pretty shrine. You set it up, you launch it. Now that shrine is free. It will give you two items. End of story. What those two items are are still completely random, but it's 100% worth it. I find. Uh, subsequently, you also still do a ton of damage, so you're still able to just blow the ever-loving crap out of people. And it also does save time. And... Time is still a factor in how easy it is to do some things. Okay, Jade Elephant is not exactly what we wanted. I'm not exactly weaponizing my bad luck here, but like you'll notice that none of this is costing anything. There we go. And uh, the armor plating is not terrible, so I'll take it. For what amounts to a free ability, like I'll, that's it's mighty fine. Now there's lots of items all over the place here. If you could just shush for a minute while I open up this chest, thank you. Um, there's a lot going on with this character that I like. He does a ton of damage. He's powerful he's fast like there's nothing wrong with the boy um there's a couple of things that make him better or worse depending on your run and our and we do have some issues with with captain in general namely it's uh he's a character that could get caught out easily if that makes any sense um stun stun is helpful uh I, i'm not sure if i want to 3d print it or not actually uh, you need to die and you need to die thank you for this and what I meant by 3D print was scrap. There's a scrapper there. I kind of wanted to use it. It's fine. Now, we are um, two minutes in. We've got a, a few items already. Uh, several of them are more expensive than others. The drone in particular. Sticky bombs are fine. They're not bleed by any chance, uh, by uh, any stretch of the imagination. They're fine. There we go. Let's go over some, let's go over some ideas. First off, Captain has a shotgun. Uh, this is his main attack here. You can charge it up. You can sprint with it while it's charging up. And you can, for as long as you're holding the button. Which is handy. Effectively, you're just playing Mega Man. You're shooting lemons, but you're just shooting all the lemons at once. Excuse me. And then... He's got his taser that I mentioned before. Like that. He uh, just shuts them up. Oof, that missed entirely, didn't it, huh? And then finally, he's got that orbital bombardment that you guys have been seeing me use every once in a while whenever there's a big enough enemy to use it on. It's difficult to use on flying enemies because they tend to move around a lot and they don't like standing still. and That just makes things difficult, but it is what it is. The main deal is that you got those and then a special, which is the hacking beacons, which is what we used at the very beginning in order to get the items that we now have. That's it. Captain's a simple character that way. Uh, in order to unlock him, you just need to kill Mithrix. Doesn't matter what difficulty mode, it doesn't matter anything else, just... Can you kill Metrix? If yes, you can get Captain. Okay, now I really want to scrap those stun grenades. You'd be surprised how useless stun grenades can be on a character like this. I again, it's not terrible, but... Like, what use is, uh... 
What use is a stun when I'm killing things this fast? I think we've got pretty much everything already. One of the things I noticed, by the way, uh, I ended up watching the last video just to see what it looked like. Hopefully the video quality's better. I'll just uh, put that right on the line right now. How dare you. Secondly, I also hope that I will do my very best and will succeed at not scratching my nose. Now, if you go back and watch that last video again, and you see it, and you're like, oh, he is really rubbing his nose a lot, isn't he? I'll tell you what, it was distracting. Now, I can't even tell you why I was rubbing my nose. It's, it's the weirdest unconscious take I've ever seen in my life. It's like, I have done performance for a huge chunk of my life. I went through a music, a performance music degree and all this other stuff, and by the end of it, like, stage fright is still a thing, no matter what you do, but, like, you learn to use it to your advantage, you know what I mean? And I can't imagine that me scratching my nose, or whatever, is anything other than me having a nervous tick. It's so weird. I'm not used to it at all. And yet, there it is. The constant gnawing at the corner of my mind. It'd be Lovecraftian if it wasn't so stupid. Go ahead and open that up. Now we got two randoms. What's this actual choice that we have? Movement speed. You know what? Actually, movement speed's alright. Uh, I, I could definitely be okay with a movement speed increase right now. Now I think I thought I also saw a a, a drone. But I must have been incorrect. So I do not see it. Alright, let's get a move on then. We are in an interesting situation. We have a bunch of items, of which one, maybe two. Or combat based. Now we can always time the green elephant appropriately, so we should be okay to just tank this dude. There's the green elephant. We tanked it, no problem. Look how much, look how little damage we took. That's the power of green elephant right there. You know you're about to take a big attack? Use the elephant. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon. Squeezy. Where did that even come from as a saying, by the way? What what do you think? It's so easy, it's like squeezing a lemon. Like, have you tried squeezing a lemon? Like, trying to get all the juice out of lemons legitimately harder than it looks. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Thank you for adventure, guy. Like, they're tough vegetables. The, the uh, vegetables? They're tough fruit. Lemons do not want to be opened. There's a reason why the peel is not only leathery and hard, but also, like, extremely not tasty to eat. Uh, have you ever tried eating a lemon's, like, peel? I'm telling you right now, not pleasant. Not pleasant. Lemon zest is delicious, but only applied liberally. Uh, only applied, sorry, not liberally. Liberally is what makes it taste bad in the first place. Like, lemon peels, orange peels, citrus peels in general are meant to taste like garbage. They're not meant to be eaten. So then why are people like, oh, it's so easy? It's like, you know, a lemon. Lemons aren't easy. Lemons are literally evolved to be tough and difficult to deal with. Okay, please, try blasting me, I dare you. Zap him in place, drop a bomb on him, get him nice and close, and then blast him. I said blast him, there we go. So, you might notice, hey, what did the hacking really even do? Eh, it saved me some money, it saved me some time, mostly. Um, but mostly just money. And that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and get the gunner drone. Now, drones are actually super important for Captain. Uh, you'll notice that there's actually an item in my upper left corner there. It's a red item. Um, not everybody starts with those. Go figure. And in fact, the vast majority of characters do not start with a red item right out of the gate. And this item's unique to Captain. You cannot find it in chests. Uh, what it does is it gives you and your drones the ability to shoot projectiles out of the air automatically. <laughs> yes. Bleed Tripoint Dagger is the best damage item on this character, bar none. And if anybody wants to disagree with me on that one, I'd like to see your I'd like to see your sources, please. And I will go ahead and spend both of the hacking bits right now. Because again, I don't really want to come back here. This just saves time. This just saves time. And I'm I'm fine with fresh meat. It's a good item. So Tripoint Dagger is fantastic on Captain. It allows his bullets to bleed. Each one of them. And if you've been paying attention, it's got a shotgun blast attached to it. So as a result, the each one of them portion of that sentence I just said means that although there's less, like, you know, your, your proc chances are very good, um, you have so many chances to proc your abilities that by the end of it, you're stacking bleed like most people are stacking uh, GameStop stocks. 
when they're trying to, you know, r slash Wall Street bets. How's that for being a, a topical content creator? Something I'm terrible at, by the way. That's a very dead lizard. Like, an extremely dead lizard. Now, why am I still here? You see this drone? I want him. Uh, because then that way we can have another thing that shoots projectiles out of the air. Is it even going to be important? Like, one loop in? Probably not. But hey, time doesn't matter, it turns out. Yeah! Nicely done. Now, one of the things the shotgun does when it's fully charged up is it pushes things that are flying. Which means that it's really good for killing wisps. If you manage to shotgun blast a wisp into a wall, it'll do contact damage. You're effectively just slam dunking. Oh, could you not? What was that? You climbed the rock, you absolute savage. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna get behind you and then blast you from behind. Yeah, and you're toast. Okay, cool. 73 to open up that sucker. That's fine. Blast them. Blast them. Do I want another use item? Yes, actually, I do. It's not that the elephant is bad, but the elephant does have a long cooldown with very limited capacity for use. I, I don't like it that much. I, I do not find it that useful. So I'm going to try to replace it if I can here. Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, we did! Recycler is fantastic, actually, and I will hold on to Recycler because it allows me to effectively go, I don't want that item. Now, a lot of items are okay on Captain, but there are some items where you're like, why? Why would I do this? Bustling Fungus, for instance. There are, I, I cannot count the number of runs where I've been like, oh, why is the fungus here? Now. Well, now I don't have to have the fungus there. If I see a fungus, I can re-roll it. Re-rolling fungus? It's the fungus among us? There's one fungus among us. Not anymore, sir! Ejected! The imposters lose. The fungus loses. Look, I'm trying to make an Among Us reference, and if that's going over your head, um, first off, I'd be surprised, because it would have gone over my head approximately a month ago. Second, you need to die. Third, look, I really am desperate here to just talk about something, because this itch on my head is driving me bananas. Alright, take out the beetles one after the other, you're getting up nice and close. Uh, which means that when you're using the shotgun ability, actually, it's really handy if you can get up nice and close. If you've got the ability to pick up, like, a crystal uh, upgrade on him, it's fantastic. Now, here's an interesting situation. Yeah, I'll take the key. The key's fine. Uh, and I'll take this instead of over the fuel cell, which is maybe a mistake. But I do think the guillotine has its place. It's a very strong ability in the right spot. Which is kind of any time, really. Elites are a problem. But when you got the... Okay, so back to back to the topic of, the, of this head-scratching uh, issue. And I promise you, it's not dandruff, okay? It happens on your nose. Since when do you get nose dandruff? How does that even work? That's probably a very gross question. But it's not actually all that gross. I ended up watching a, uh, a TED-Ed video. Uh, I do like watching TED-Ed videos. I think that they're mildly, at least mildly informative. I actually do think that they're great teaching tools at the very least. Uh, boss damage bullets are great. Um, but yeah, I ended up watching a TED-Ed video about... You know, dandruff, because I'm like, I have no idea what dandruff is. I just know that, like, it appears on some people's shoulders. Like, why not? Well, I now know what it is. Apparently, dandruff is caused when the oil on your skin gets uh, harvested and eaten by a fungus. A fungus we all have on our scalps right now. Because, believe it or not, you're not an individual, you're a colony. To quote them. I was like, oh. It's kind of cool. So how does that even work then? Well, it turns out that this fungus uses a, an enzyme, which is like a, f a fancy type of... Uh, it's not... A, no. It's not a protein. But like an enzyme, which is effectively like the, the uh, thing... Uh, like something to unzip different molecules from each other. And... Ooh. Uh, I'm actually going to re-roll that, because I have a use item that doesn't really benefit from that, and if I'm going to use Recycler this run, then I would really re like to use it to the best of its effect. That's probably good enough. It uses an enzyme to split the oil on your scalp into two parts. One saturated fat, and then one unsaturated fat. Uh, it does this so that way it can chew on the saturated fats. Go figure, because those are nice and easy to digest. Unsaturated fats, on the other hand, it just kind of looks at it and goes, well, I don't need this, and just leaves it on your scalp. Turns out that that stuff kind of sticks to your scalp, and then it's just like, oh. Well, in that case, then, I hope you don't mind if I just stay here and agitate your scalp. It causes your scalp to get an inflammatory uh, reaction, and um, it's like, oh no, there's something like sticking into it. Yeah, I'm fine with crowbar. Crowbar's like, not great, but it's okay. Probably could have recycled it, honestly. 
You're not dead. Thank you. And uh, when you've got this unsaturated, unsaturated fats just like in your scalp, your body's like, oh, well, this sucks. Grow more skin to deal with it, please. Stone Titan. Just get up close. Where is he? Why is he up there? Slam him into a wall. Slam him into a wall. That's two dead. Just airstrike these boys. Just jump up here. Try to get to this dude before he sees you. Cool. Now, at this point, the boss should be nice and easy because we're right up close where we want to be. Just don't stand still too much. And occasionally drop bombs on him, so that way... Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We are easy kill. Okay, cool. See? Like, as soon as I saw that, as soon as I saw Stone Titan, I was like, oh, we're fine. Just a matter of getting out here. Okay, so what item did we get? It's a Runald's Band. Or Kiara's Band, sorry. That's fantastic. We are absolutely keeping that. Because we can pretty much trigger that on demand. Anytime that we use our orbital environment and it hits, just boom, tornado. Oh, I was going to say boom, tornado, and then it didn't tornado, and I'm very upset by this. Like, you'd be surprised just how upsetting that was. Get back here, you. Anyway, I'm not here to teach you guys brand new things about your scalp. I'm here to say that, really, I just know that it's not dangerous, okay? I don't get dandruff often. It happens. But I now know that A, it's a fungal thing, and two, that's not the reason why my nose itches. So I have to wonder, why on earth is it that when I'm playing games or doing something performative like this right now, you know, this is a performance, believe it, like, you know, believe it or not, um, when I'm doing something performative like this, what on earth is causing me to be so itchy on my face? And I'm, like, being really conscious about the fact that I do not want to touch my face. It's it's a weird situation to be in where I'm just like... <laughs> it's highly uncomfortable, actually. Now, we got this thing here, which is worth one of these. Because, effectively, that's just a bunch of free items. And then I'll go ahead and speed up the process here by uh, dumping this right here. Uh, and hacking open the big chest. Okay, I'm actually going to wait to go down there for a second. Uh, I would like to open up this chest now, please. Thank you. What did we get? We got Hoopo Feather. That's actually fine. I don't mind having a uh, Hoopo Feather. It's good. Now, this, on the other hand, I really wish we didn't have to pick up. And, oh, the tri-tip dagger is fantastic, though. Okay, cool. Worth it overall. The hacks were the hacks were fine. Uh, we don't have enough money for that. Goat Hoof. Goat Hoof is worth 3D printing here for a couple of reasons. Mainly because mobility is one of our weaknesses. It is one of the things we just don't have a mobility, like, move. We don't have a dash, we don't have anything else. So having access to something like Goat Hoof or Hoopo Feather is kind of necessary for our survival. Um, like, seriously, seriously consider picking up Goat Hooves whenever you see them. So, since we had a couple scraps, I, felt, I figured, hey, why not? Uh, monster Teeth, sure. It's good to have uh, a little bit of extra healing on the ground whenever I need it. I'm not going to say no to that. And now you might be saying, why aren't you using re your recycler? You are not using it well enough. Uh, I feel like you are wasting your time. I want more boss damage. No, not yet. You need to die. Thank you. Another go to... I don't need a third one. Oh, no. Well, there's dandruff causing fungus right there. You might be asking, why aren't you using your recycler more often? And I'm like, yeah, you know what, it's because I'm, I tend to be finding items I'm actually okay with most of the time. Like, boss damage is, like, fine. We've already got two of them. That's an increase of 40% damage to that thing already, which is like, what the heck is going on here? This doesn't seem fair. A, you've spawned already. B... There's two of you. C, there might be more than two of you. It's a good thing our shotgun is as good as it is. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Now I need to sneeze. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, I'll, I'll just fine. I'll take the goat hoof. Whatever game. I see your game. I see what you're playing at. Okay, so there's another couple of things down here, and there is that droid there, which I'm actually thrilled with the idea of getting. I will actually pick up the armor-piercing rounds this time. I was going to say, 40% damage is actually fine. 
Uh, like, I don't need more. But if my options are that or potentially pick up another fungus, I'll take my chances with the, with the boss damage, if you don't mind my saying so. Pause him. Drop some of these. And Karo's Band. Look at the fire. Doing what it does best. This is the reason why I really like Captain's ability to just be like on-demand orbital bombardment. It is one of the easiest ways to apply the Kiaro's band and the Runal's band upgrades in the game. Because it's just on-demand, 1000% damage. It, uh, it just triggers it. And nothing else in his kit does. It's great. Except for like missiles down the line, but you know, if you got missiles triggering your Kiaro's band, you're still fine with it. Uh, let's open up this sucker, see if we get anything worthwhile. Um, cautious slug. Can I re-roll it? Okay, more boss damage. Sure. It's fine. Like, Recycler does create an, a very interesting dynamic in the game. You are able now to just ignore what you don't want to have. Sweet. Um, we also know where the teleporter is. Let's sort of keep that in mind. Oh, please. Leave me be. Pardon me. You need to... What a dodge was that? Okay, try falling into that one. Why don't you? Do some blasting over here. Look what this tripod tip dagger is doing for us. Like, the amount of damage it's doing. It's so easy. Hold on. That's my phone. Very good. Moving forward. There's another chest over this way. We will absolutely go ahead and pick it up. And he's super toast. Between all the bleeding stacks he had on him, he was absolutely toast. Um, I don't really like Red Whip, but let's see if we can't go for something better. Gore's Tome is not what I had in mind. Like, it's fine. It'll speed up farm a little bit. I probably should have stuck with Red Whip in hindsight, but... Man, sometimes I just cannot be bothered. here again. Let's quickly just do a circle around here. This is where Red Whip would have been useful, actually. You know, in all in all fairness. But, uh... Red Whip is not one of those items that feels immediately impactful. It feels bad to pick up and be like, yeah, this unit is, uh, I, I, you know, when I have the choice between it and another green item, I'll gamble on another green item. It is obviously what I've, you know, kind of shown off here. And it makes sense, given my personality type. I'll gamble a man. Sure. Try to dagger number three. Let's go. I think it's a 15% increase at a chance to, to bleed. So it's like a 12% chance to bleed every time you hit somebody. And you, every one of your bullets counts. And yeah, no, the more daggers you have, the better off you are. That, that, that's just how that works. All right, that, that's everything. I think we found the entire level. So let's leave. Boink. Use Hoopo Feather to break our fall. Wait, that's not our thing. Whoa! <laughs> we have to keep the momentum from the from the bouncy pad. Okay, cool. Play Dune Striders. I'm just gonna keep shooting him until he dies. There we go. Now, where is that Clay Templar? Like I said, occasionally, tasers are the best items in the game. Are the best, uh, is like the best ability in the game. Okay, how's my band situation? Active. Go for it. That should kill him. Cool, we do enough damage to these bosses that it's just like actually trivial to kill them. I'd rather face a boss then have to deal with ma the majority of bad guys we have to kill nowadays. Now, we have enough damage to deal with the enemies. Obviously, our shotgun's doing just an incredible amount of work. And a good usage and placement of our... Um, thank you. Good usage and placement of our orbital bombardment will also help. Yo! My earn is not bad. Allows us to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for a really long time. Now, I could have re-rolled it. I could have re-rolled it into something like Shatter Spleen, but you want to know what else I could have re-rolled that into? That's right. Guardian. Guardian's terrible. 
never ever re-roll yellow items unless if it's guardian and the reason why i say re-roll yellow items is good uh, if it's guardian is because the guardian's actually just detrimental to your run most of the time i i actually do not like beetle man there's a uh if, if you get the boss item from uh beetle guard and you're like man i'm kind of upset with this guy blocking my shots and stuff you should be bam So much damage. And we've got an incinerator drone, three gunner drones, which are likely to die any moment. We didn't waste that much money, really. Okay. Uh, what are you shooting, dude? Oh, a fire elite. That is not a fight you're going to win easily, my friend. Okay. Now, we've been given a couple of choices here, and I really like the harvester site. Another thing that's really good for this character, go figure, is critical hits, right? Um, increasing that chance at all is big, and it's not always easy to do. Uh, okay, my turn. Just kind of doing this thing there. Okay, with you being stunned, I can easily land this, which means you're absolutely roasted, which means I can get back to helping my droids live, eventually. Hello, get stunned. And I can come behind you. You get actually roasted in return, actually. Not what I wanted. It's okay. You should be dead now. Shoot the eggs. Should kill the vultures. Thank you. Why do you mean you're not dead? Thank you. That should kill you. Okay, cool. We've kind of stabilized. Let's go ahead and hit the Harvester Scythe once. Largely because it gives you the crit chance, but also simultaneously it does also give you some heals, which is nice every once in a while. Not likely, mind you. We still have a very, very few things we'd actually like to... Yeah, I'm going to spin that there. We have very few things currently going for us in terms of the crit department, which is a shame. Crits are great, but that's how it is sometimes. Okay, Wax Quail. It is good, but I'm going to re-roll it. And we got Death Taxes. Um, we have my return, so that actually isn't so bad. We should be able to kill this thing relatively easily. 14 stacks of bleed, 19 stacks of bleed, 23 stacks of bleed. That's what I tell you. Should be relatively easy. In addition... The little uh, rings that it shoots out, they're projectiles first. And guess what shoots out projectiles out of the sky? That's right, Captain's passive red item. So there are just some enemies that don't do anything versus Captain, oddly enough. It, it's such a strange situation to be in when there are certain enemies that suddenly just don't, don't do nearly as much as they used to, and other enemies which suddenly are far more dangerous. Um, enemies that, shoots lot, that shoot lots of shots are always going to be dangerous, but... Um, is it time for a new use item? Not that one. Definitely not that one. But Wolf, it's lifesteal. Nah, 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 nah. I'm okay, thanks. I'm alright, thanks. That should be a very dead beetle. And another one right there. So apparently someone decided that it would be a great plan to use Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue? Gorilla Glue is a form of hairspray. To be fair, it's a spray-on version of it, but I digress. And I have to ask the question. If uh, anybody else has thought that that might sound initially like a good plan. Now, it is, it is easy to pile on to this person and be along the lines of, you know what, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, let us laugh. I'm here to advise a little caution on that one. I don't think it was intelligent to do, necessarily, uh, at all, actually. But, 
the fact of the matter remains. There was a person who uh, tried to find an alternate, cheaper way to provide hair care for themselves. And like, especially when it comes to people of color, some of their hair is so kinky as to require like some pretty toxic shit to make their uh, to make their hair work in a way that other people expect it to look. You know, it, it's not even if they were taught that their hair could look whatever it was, then it'd be like, and that was okay. It'd be like, oh, this is fine. This is great. That's not how it works. And so, yeah, you, you like if you can try to find a, a cheaper alternative, and Gorilla Glue is a lot cheaper than a lot of hair products out there. Also, there's a, a Birdman here. We should probably deal with him. Please get roasted. So I, I actually have a lot of sympathy for the person in question here. Because with that, you know, whilst it, it does come across as extremely silly to go through with the idea of, I'm going to go ahead and just spray glue in my hair and hope it works. And Gorilla Glue, of all things. Like, at the very least... Super fast. Uh, and you gave me that. It's not actually what I want. And that's almost worse. Sadly, that was not worth the time we spent getting it. Um, it just, it seems like it's a... It, it's harsh. To just be like, that person was dumb and story. When they're in a situation where it's like, you know what? I can understand what they're potentially going through. Now, I'll be honest. A lot of what I just said was said was conjecture. Um, I'm assuming, based off of my own previous knowledge, what the what, what the motive was behind uh, the accident involving the glue. And assuming is you know making something out of butts and people and whatever. We all know the saying. And if you don't, it's uh, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. It's not a very, like, wry or witty saying, but it's a saying nonetheless, so, yeah, it's a good one to know. Because, uh, ass and you and me is, if you spell it very badly, the word. Get it? It's a joke. Uh, okay, so I want the will -Lisp. The attack speed's good, too. And I don't want to scrap my red item, because that just makes it worse. Just now it actively reduces cooldown, uh, cooldowns. Um, and I will re-roll this on the odd chance that we get ukulele, which we did not get. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I do want to make sure that I use this second charge of my special, but, like, I don't think it's happening. There's nothing that I want to use it. Oh, f why? Why'd you pick that one up? Look, you're going to scrap it in a second anyway. It's not a big deal. There's a scrapper, like, 30 feet away from here. Get roasted, dude. Super dead. Okay, your turn. See? No problem. Stealth Kit is a re-rollable item, I think, for me. It's not a bad item at all. It's just... I really am aiming for something a little bit stronger than that right now. Wax Quail's fine. Allows me to maneuver myself around a little bit more, uh... Actively, which is good. Anyway, look, I, I, I want, the one thing I want to take away from this whole hashtag Gorilla Glue bit that popped up on my feed is that really, when it comes down to it, just take a little bit of time. And, like, if it's someone's, like, doing something and they hurt someone else with their stupidity, 100%, give them all the flack that they deserve. If they hurt themselves, and they were like trying to find a sensible way to fix a, they were trying to find a way to fix a problem, because you know, at least the, with the benefit of the doubt that I'm giving the person, 
you know, it makes sense. Because again, Gorilla Glue is a lot cheaper than hair products. The beauty industry is a ridiculous tyrant. That self-perpetuates a, a lot of problem, problematic issues. Um, hold on, where's the scrapper anyway? Didn't I say there was a scrapper? 30 feet from here? I, I swore I had. And if I'm wrong about that, then I'm really sorry, game. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, let's reroll those, and we got armor plating. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. We are 100% scrapping the fungus among us. We we definitely don't want it. Which gives us uh, four pieces of scrap. Wow. What a time to be alive. No shop, though. I probably could have oh, gone to the shop. I just opted not to. Did I miss anything up here? I don't think I did. Yeah, didn't think so either, game. All right, we're slow. <laughs> we could probably die here very, very quickly, so let's be safe. Please. Oh, please. Yeah, there we go. Drop that right there. Now, we got to remember to use these uh, hacks nice and early. Oh, there's another place to hack right there. Aiming, aiming, aiming. Fire! The earlier you use them, the better. Okay, I'll take a fuel cell. That's fine. Do you have a better use item here now? No. Not yet. Not that a uh, recycler is bad, but like we're going to want to replace it at some point because it has zero combat utility. And the game is literally all about combat. It's not like there's a diplomacy option with these guys, okay? Now, let's go ahead and use these fireworks to something use. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Seriously? Wow, seriously, huh? Blasting the Elder Lemurian with the shields on him. Because these guys all are big and they all hurt, but that guy literally one shots us. Next up, Bells. Why? Because if even one bell gets through, we're done. Like, it's just. Oh my god, where did you come from? Threat assessments, man. At least we do enough damage right now that it's just like, okay, cool, we can at least kill this guy on a regular basis. Relatively quickly. Please. Sure, Cautious Slug, I don't care. Now, the one thing I definitely want to use this on... You don't get stunned, I forgot. Parents don't care about stunts. It's a little bit of a rough... Rough learning curve on those boys. Cool. Uh, we want to reroll both of these. No, I don't want the bustling fungus. I want the. No. Yes. Now reroll that one. Yes! It's a crit goggles. Huge! Taking the time to reroll sometimes would be absolutely worth it, and that's a big deal. That 10% crit chance just increased their damage by 10%. Like, that, that, that's how mathematically that one works. Oh, and you gave me missiles, too. The game is now very interesting. Alright, so we're down a drone, I heard. Or maybe they are? I don't know, man. Stop that. Stop that. Like, how many of you are there, and why do you feel like it's necessary? It, like, that was a lot, wasn't it? Was that a lot to anybody else? I thought that was a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and boil those boys alive. And that's the end of that fungus. Hello, chest. Yes, it's me. I'll reroll that. Yeah, armor plating's fine. And there's literally nothing wrong with it. It's a flat damage decrease, and although that doesn't seem like it's much, it'll do a lot of work against stuff like bleeds and fire and all that stuff down the line. So I do, I do find that it's legitimately a worthwhile item to like have. And eventually, like, once you start getting enough tougher times that there's, like, diminishing returns that start happening and everything, it is actually worth your time to actually pick up the, uh, flat damage decreases instead. Because at a certain point, like, a flat damage decrease is just mathematically better than a percentage increase that does not stack as high as it used to. Okay, you need to go away. 
Okay, yeah, one shot, one kill. It's that that's the kind of that's the kind of math I like to see. Yeah, I'll take a medic pack, that's fine. Now, we are all relatively well off. And this should help a lot. Uh, ukulele, again, one of those powerful items that makes uh, everything that much sweeter and easier to work with. Because now our procs can bounce around all over the place. and We're applying missiles. We're applying all kinds of stuff everywhere we want it to be. Uh, gasoline's fine. It, it, it's another debuff to apply to allow our death mark to actually do something. Maybe. Get me out of here. There are some more chests on the level. We do want to open them all. They are worth our time. We have more than enough money to do so. Yeah, I'll take another couple of seconds of regeneration. Again, in a format where uh, regeneration is not often around, i.e. monsoon, uh, having fresh meat is, a, is kind of necessary. You'd want at least one. You don't really need more than one, but, you know, it's helpful. Okay, we're going to open that stuff up. There's two here that suck, one here that sucks less. I'll grab it. Um, this and... Oh! 3D printer. We have scraps, do we not? We have four. Mm -hmm. So you're about to start seeing some ridiculous bleed stacks. And you're about to understand why I feel like bleed stacks are kind of important. Oh, never mind. We're going to go ahead and actually uh, put a couple of those scraps into uh, getting some extra crit now. Um, that is the correct choice. Because at this point, we have enough bleed stacks to be, like, really happy. I'll, I'll take my chances. I will, in fact, make sure to scrap some extra stuff down the line. Or try to 3D print and trade my way down to having like, a nearly 100% crit, crit rate at that point. Because, uh, yeah, that'll be worth it. Now, I believe that our teleporter is on the right side of the map, if I have to remember correctly. Let's see. Uh, we've now got a 40% crit rate, 45 if you include the scythe. So half the time we're critting. That's not bad. But what if I told you you could crit 100% of the time? You'd be pretty thrilled with that, wouldn't you? Literally double your damage? It's worth it, is what I'm saying here, okay? It's, it's worth it, and I'm going to go ahead and go with it. This might, you know... This is what peak performance looks like. And if you don't think that you like it, then like I'm sorry to tell you, but this is just the way it is. I will go down on Gold Coast to make sure this makes that, that this happens. The damage is too good not to. Like missiles that crit, Kiaro's band, it's critting. Oral bombardment, it's critting. The bleed, oh yeah. It's based off your crit damage, dude. Now I could stick with just this. I like making sure I have the full. Uh, and this means that we're down to five bleed daggers. This is fine. It's more than enough. Let's go ahead and hit the road. Like, fantastic place to be at. We've got full crits. 41 minutes into the run. It's a little, it's a little much. Uh, that means that we're probably 50 minutes out into the episode by now. A little spooky, I won't lie to you, but... Oh, and also, now we don't need crit goggles anymore. We got that covered. Like, run, run's good on that front. Hello. Boink. 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 Everything dies. Open up this sucker. Oh, more missiles? Don't mind if I do. Alright, so now we just gotta find our way out of here. I think we've, uh, we've, lo we've looted the level, pretty much. I don't think there's a world in which anyone could say that we haven't with a straight face. He says, right, as he picks up two relatively good drones. Now my shins. Oh, my shins again. Okay, so where is the exit? If I remember correctly, should be over this way. Oh, hello, it's gold I left on the ground. Gold again? What am I supposed to do with these buckets of gold? I saw a little dangling yellow thing. I was like, oh, scavenger? This early? No. Now, you might be thinking, wow, we don't seem to be doing that much damage. That was an elite fungus. Fungus is just an elite tank, dude. Don't even worry about it. So there's our exit. And we are not going to be facing Mythrix. It is difficult to face Mythrix's captain, I find. Unless you have a god build. 
which is a not all of them. Please help it out. You are my only hope. I mean, you're not my only hope, but like, you're right there. I would really like to open you. Just keep blasting. Now that we're getting HP out of blasting things, because we crit every single time we shoot, um, offense is also the best form of defense is an absolutely true statement under every single circumstance. We also have a multitude of drones, which is good, because now we're blocking a huge number of projectiles that are headed our way. These funguses aren't doing nearly as much damage as they should be as a result, which is nice. The ukulele is just doing work as well. Get him blasted, please. Cool. Easy kill. Uh, and that gave us a core stone, which we will reroll into a Berserker's Pauldron, which I am happy with. We are going to loop, and I think that this should be a safe, effective, and easy obliteration. This is, this is a good run. Now, I've said that before. I have said that before, and I have ended up being incredibly wrong because of my own hubris. Well, not today. Not today. Today, the hubris ends. The only thing we really need right now is like attack speed to make sure that we got like this machine gun like thing going on here. We can do that in a couple of different ways too. Not just soldier syringes, which are really good and always stack. Oh, did I miss a chest? I missed a chest. Rats. But we can also pick up a green item called Predatory Instincts, which means every time we crit, we get attack speed. No, you do not get to shoot me like that. Just for free, sir. Get out of here. But yeah, so predatory instincts would be really, really good right now. Uh, are you 500 or less? You're 763. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, do we actually have any shrines or anything that I can open with a quick, uh, quick hack? Quick hacks. I don't see any. That's a pretty good uh, prediction on that Stone Titans part, actually. And here I am, just flying through the air, and then suddenly a fist starts to appear. Okay. Goodbye, hiding elite. Alright, you need to die. And there's a good chance we're not going to actually get the chance to use our, um... Uh, our special effectively, but that's probably okay. That's a sign that we're just killing things really, really fast. Uh, I will use this here, I'll use this here, I'll use this here immediately afterwards, and we're now low on money? Okay, that's fine, that's good, and that's great, too. Thank you, Berserker's Pauldron. Seriously? Thank you, Berserker's Pauldron? Holy cow. <laughs> Like, here we were, it's like, oh, why am I attacking so fast? And then, like, two seconds later, my brain kind of clicked in. I'm like, you dumb dumb. You picked up Berserker's Paul. And look at you. You're killing things left, right, and center. You absolute mad lad. Look at how handsome you are. I was like, oh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Ow, my shins. Okay, so we need to open up some chests. And I'd like to scrap some fungus if I have any. But I don't think I do anymore. Um, so what else is actually worth scrapping at this point? The Gorus Tomes aren't great for us, sadly. Um... And were this a longer run, I'd be like, let's just do it. But, that's not the case. Okay, and it seems like there's like literally not much else left on this floor. There's like, that chest. Weird. Strange. I kind of hate it. Uh, and I'm re-rolling that immediately, because the shield is not going to help us nearly as much as I'd like it to. I'd rather be able to heal up to full HP when I want, thanks. What about this one? Crowbar, not helpful. Fungus, even worse. At least fungus can be 3D printed into something else. So I'm going to go ahead and beat the teleporter. I'm going to scrap the fungus. And then we're going to get a move on. Alright, you need to die. These are useless. So I might as well go ahead and use them as a means of doing damage. Because they do do damage when they land. I'd ask who's left, but...
the, the celestial baddies are proving to be an issue. I do not need another Chrono Bubble, and I barely need another Red Whip, but fine. I'll take it. It's okay, game. You give me a lot of good stuff for the past couple minutes anyway. That's a lot of uh, bugs, by the way. Back off my friends, please. And one. And one. Now, you might be wondering, hey, are we in any trouble? The answer is no. We have so many drones that are keeping themselves alive right now because they can only really be attacked by uh, things with projectiles for the most part, unless they get up right up close, like our incinerator drone, uh, that we actually don't worry about their uh, survival all that much. It's actually a really easy thing to just be like, I don't need to worry about them. They're going to worry about me instead. It's a beautiful feeling to be uh, in a game where at least something cares about you. Cool. Hello. And there's that. Excellent news. Alright, so let's go ahead and scrap the fungus. Because what's the point? Is there anything else we can scrap? Gore's tome? Yes. Uh, we can scrap it as well. Does it help us at all? No, it really doesn't right now. It is just an excess of money that we really don't need. You might be noticing that we are at 15,000. Gore stones don't really help at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and book it at this point. So Everything else is okay. Even the backup mag has moments where it's just like, you know what, I missed my first stun. Let's just make sure that the next stun hits. Grand. Now, this is the last level, really, before it gets real. The next level is where it's like, okay. We've done everything we can. It's the end. At this point, we obliterate, or we don't. You, I'm fine with the can. Hit this a couple times to weaponize my bad luck into some fireworks. Missiles are great. Weaponize some more bad luck. And armor plating is rerollable. And two stun grenade. Okay, cool, sure. Effectively, I'm just like, eh, give it another roll. See what happens. It's not about taking the bad items necessarily and just being like, oh, this is the end of it, really. It's about taking the items that you're like, oh, this doesn't really impact my run, and trying to see if you can't find something that does. Now, this changes things. And it's an incredibly powerful item. The Lightning Bolt, with the right upgrades, and the right kind of build, is a supremely powerful way to build your character. You can build an entire run around Lightning Bolt just going off nonstop. It's a really fun archetype, actually. You get to be Zeus, Lord of Thunder. But it comes to those downsides, too. If you don't have the right build for it, it actually comes kind of comes across as lackluster, and that's currently where we're at. Oh, baby, yes. Yo, I am so dead. And you want to know why? These Malachites are a thing. Okay, just keep blasting, dude. I did not expect that Malachite dude to actually, like, get me. But he did. Frightening us? A great deal. Hello, big guy. Would you like to come down? Thank you, thank you, thank you for dying. Much appreciated. The Lightning Bolt does have some extra benefits, though. If it crits, which it always does with us. Um, the Lightning Bolt does do a decent amount of damage. More importantly, it also slams those bigger enemies like the Greater Wisps back down to Earth, which allows me to actually get better shotgun shots on them. It's, it's worth your time. Uh, let's go for the Challenge of the Mountain. Which is hubris, 100% hubris, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, because otherwise this run is going to get very sleepy very fast. Leech and Seed is good. Okay, and we still don't have, like, Teddy Bear, which is a problem. So we have one scrap item of each kind, green and white. Now, there are more kinds of scraps, obviously. You can scrap any item in your inventory if you don't like it, other than the blue ones. But... For our purposes, here today... I... And we got a green one and a white one, and, like, literally nothing to print them into? That's 
That's what I'm understanding. All right, let's see what this boss has for us. I'm a little worried. That could have been a lot worse. It's already dead. Oof! That glacial titan exploded for a lot of damage. Okay. Now there's two of them right here. And that's it. Now, one thing that I really like about our lightning bolts right now is that the lightning bolt does also proc the, uh, the Kiaro's band for a lot of damage. Hmm. Interesting bandolier. Being able to reset our, uh, Deal when we want. I'm down with it. Now, we don't get our ultimate back. We don't get our special back, but that's, like, fine. Um, largely be a Kua's. Oh, hey, it's the cat again. Hi, buddy. Meow, meow. You want me to come up and uh, get you? Alright, well, the game's gonna have to wait for a second. I'll be right back. Uh, move magic, go. The cat has been suitably appeased. Let's continue. I don't remember what I was talking about. Maybe that's for the best. Suffice to say that this run does have the potential to go, like, pretty much god mode. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but, uh, again, we're at a stage where I barely know what the hell is going on. And that's... It's a good place to be in this game. <laughs> now, can we handle the next level is the question. If we can get the next level, it's an obliteration, it's a good episode. It's not as successful as the accurate episode, but, you know, still quite strong. Uh, good start right here. Just drop that sucker right now nose again just like there's something on it man something on it I can feel it yo this run oh it's so sad to see it end so soon but um this really is powerful now we also have uh, gigantic explosion damage Tender somewhere in this mix. Nope. Get roasted. Where's the Grove Tender? He must be down on the lower floor here. So I don't see him up there. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. I don't know how I missed him. Get absolutely bodied. Easy kills, man. Now, that's an item. That squid. That's an item I don't want. That's an item I look at and I go, well, that just makes me sad. And I, game, I really rather, really rather wish you wouldn't. So, at this point, the game's over. Like, we've gotten what we need. The Infernal Bazooka is, like, a nice bonus, but it is absolutely not necessary to our run succeeding. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it. Uh, we're going to find our teleporter and then get the heck out of here. Um, and maybe quickly pick up another couple items to see if we can't uh, make this run a little bit nuttier before it all ends. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we got a med pack to finish things off. Number four. Med pack number four. Boom. down. Now, we aren't out of the woods yet. It's worth mentioning that yo, you guys are hidden. Okay. Good to know. I'm just gonna drop that on the ground in case there's somebody near my feet. I don't know if there was. Now, I'm assuming this is where the last one is. Oh, we got frozen so many times. Oh, that wasn't fair at all. Well, we should have won. Oh. That was garbage. The, like, so if you're wondering what happened there, when we killed the Grove Tender, 
they exploded, and then around them, there were a bunch of ice leaks we couldn't see, and then they exploded, and we just got hit by a chain reaction of explosions we had no means of actually stopping. So we died. But, like, that was a really good captain run. Uh, and you can do that really consistently with the character, honestly. We should have won that one. I'm disappointed we didn't because of bad luck. But, uh, that's what I get for being hubritic, I suppose. Thank you for watching. I hope you folks enjoy yourselves. Next time we'll do another character. If you guys want a different character, hey, request it in the comments. If you got this far in the video, obviously you liked something. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, hit that like button, and I'll see you folks in the next video where we'll tackle someone. Bye.